Hi everyone again, once again, welcome back to Factorio. Uh, did not quite get the turret, uh, double wall going quite yet. We did not have enough turrets. So basically, everything that is in the green will be automatically repaired by my bot network. I have, uh, plenty of stations to drop off the bots. So this, so the, when it's like a complete, when the yellow connects basically to a complete logistics network, so I don't mind them going across here. I don't mind them going across here. The places you don't want to cross is place where the, places where there's biters. Because if, let's say, these two were connected, uh, they would cross over to potentially repair something here and get killed by biters here. So that's how that works. Um, so our factory has a bit of production issues. And I've noticed them. Uh, and I, I waited until I'd start recording again because I just wanted to get that crap done. We only have eight world reports left. But that's fine. We will use the, more of them because... There's going to be more logistics networks for needed for this stuff, but um, for the time being, well, let's go take a look. So, um, iron and stuff is still flowing nicely. Um, I noticed that there wasn't enough iron flowing over to uh, the these places, um, to to the uh, the whatever the chips here. So the chips were stopping. So I actually upgraded it to a red belt. Uh, yeah, right here. Okay, so that's that's kind of nice. But it means it's drawing more from the mainline bus. So that's kind of an issue. But we got another issue on that. Batteries are about to stop producing. And why is that? Because petroleum is on its last legs. That's it. No more pet uh, petroleum isn't enough now. Uh, so now we get to use uh, our fancy dancy uh, coal liquef uh, li liquefaction. And then we hope and pray that that actually is enough. Because uh, I don't know if it's going to be enough. I've never done that. Uh, otherwise, we're going to have to start going over here. Uh, and maybe getting that. I don't know. I'm really hoping coal li liquefaction is something that's actually worthwhile. Ten refiners. That sounds like a good start. Alright. Let's, um, let's get that. Let's get this show on the road. So I'm going to go get myself some pipes and stuff. Because we're going to need them. So... Uh, we don't have a use for coal right now. Uh, we know this, but we have coal over here. Okay, let me turn this off because this is garbage. Okay, we got coal over here. We got the coal patch here we haven't quite finished tapping into. Um, so, and we got plenty of coal nearby in various places. So, this is where we're going to do coal liquefaction. This is why petroleum gas is now an issue. But yeah, um, so let's go get ourselves some pipes and give it a shot. Uh, how many more pipes do I need? Yeah, that seems like a good amount. All right, so that's kind of all we've done. Is we've we, now we have a self-repairing wall. That's uh, it's pretty good. It's uh, very nice. Just gotta remove some of the stuff here. What's in this chest? All right, I'll just take the copper ore. I have random ores inside my my car as it is. This one was originally meant for the, the stone, uh, sorry, the cement, which I'm not sure what we're going to do with the cement for now on. I won't lie. Alright. It is coal liquefaction time, or liquefaction time, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I, I don't know what it is. So this requires coal, steam, heavy oil. Um, well, we have, we have plenty of heavy oil. Luckily I've been keeping that there. But where will we get steam from? Huh, I wonder, where would we get steam from? Could it be the steam from nuclear fucking reactors? Yes, indeed, sir. It is indeed going to be from nuclear fucking reactors. So, I, I don't know how many of these we're going to need. Uh, but I'll, what I do know is that there has to be a belt running through this. So, we're going to have to do something about that. How much does it need? How much coal does this need? Uh, 10 coal. All right, that doesn't seem so bad. So we'll just kind of, we'll make it simple. Uh, so we'll have a red belt. Of course, this will be changed later. Uh, this is just good for now. So this is, this is kind of the plan. This is what we had this over here to begin with. All right. So these are not powered right now. So, it will produce more uh, heavy oil, so that's kind of nice. Yeah, I kind of figured I'd need a lot of these. 
Here's your heavy oil. Backup car. So it's just going to be a matter of hooking all this stuff up. And yeah, luckily we have steam. We have an abundance of steam. We went to 480 megawatts. I can guarantee you that steam will never be a problem here. We are a steam family. All right. I, this is just how, in my head, I decided I would probably work this out. So, now we finally have a use for this coal, and thank goodness for that. Because I started near so much of it, and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. Alright, so we got some pumps here as well, so we're going to bring down... Uh, I don't know how I'm going to bring it down. I'll just bring it down near the water. I think it just can come through here. There you go. Easy. Alright. And we have another pipe. I'll have plenty of space for any other shenanigans I'd want to pull, maybe. I don't I don't know what I want to do. Alright. Probably need to get some of this stuff going. Hmm. Okay, let me let me set up the pipes first. Oh, yeah, that's what I was worried about. Was if I if I connected it incorrectly, you know. Right, let's do all that. So this is coal liquefaction. I don't know. I probably said it wrong several times now, but we knew that this day would come. Uh, and this is why we've we've just stored so much of our oils and stuff like that because it's just. Uh, you just, you don't know. You don't know uh, what we may need it for, so... Huh, so now we gotta go here. Alright, something like that. Alright. Steam is right here. I'm gonna put steam into its own container. It's probably down here somewhere, so... Just, uh, have like a... Just gonna have a couple of uh, storage tanks. Like just two, two works for me. All right, so we have this. Uh, we need to also have it in a pump because this needs to be one way. We don't ever want the steam to go back. We want steam to fill up these containers. So where's pumps? There we go. Hello, pumps. All right. All right, something like here. Fortunately, I can't just walk to the other side of this. Especially even now, it's even worse. But that's okay. It's not even like spaghetti pipes, it's just like regular pipes. That's how pipes go, always go. They always block you. Alright, so it's filling up pretty nicely with steam. That's pretty good. And there you go. Full speed ahead for these guys. So now we gotta go and place down pipes again to actually connect these. This is now a big fucking problem. Uh-oh. Alright. We maybe did not consider this fact. Um, rest in pepperonis. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? I, I spent too much time on this, like, not automating this properly, so... Uh, we're gonna... Trust me, the second time I do this will be much faster. So I, I just have to make sure it doesn't line up perfectly with this. It was dumb how I did this. Whoopsies. My bad. You guys can blame me. I can just use bots now. I don't know why I didn't use bots. But I, I, for some reason I decided to line it up perfectly, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't want to necessarily do that. So let's make sure this one doesn't do that. Okay, that one doesn't work either. Total liquefaction. Alright, this one seems kind of... Uh, that was originally where it was, see? And then we just do a regular pipe. There you go. That's easy. Uh, I don't know how this is going to go in, but... Actually, you know what? What am I doing? There you go. Alright. And I, di I did mention I was going to automate this, and you'll see how in just a second. 
because um, I, I actually don't want to plug in all these pipes again. I don't want to plug in any of these pipes, actually. All right, so we have that. We have this. Uh, we have some blue inserters. I don't know. Well, is yellow fast inserters fast enough? I don't think so. Okay, they're definitely not fast enough. So we need blue inserters for this. Okay. We do that. But once again, same deal. Why is there a yellow one there? I guess who cares? All right, so we do this. Uh, why is it not not getting heavy oil? Oh, it would help probably if I connected it to Steam. Those kinds of things help. Okay, is it now getting what it wants? And I just assumed that that had heavy oil in it. There you go. Good assumption to make. Uh, all right, so here we go. Uh, we're gonna copy and paste this. Cause fuck this. Okay. I don't care about these. I just care about the ones going for mine. And yeah, this is just fine. So I should be able to just do this. And it just gets it just it just runs right away. What's the problem here? Oh, it's fucking underground pipe. Thank you, Coal Liquefaction. You saved our bacon. All right, we actually finished Advanced Electronics. Good shit. Uh, we're cons we can start on production modules. I I'm just wondering if there's something else. I mean, mining productivity is probably not the worst thing in the world to get in early. So let's just do that. Oh, we're also out of uh, underground pipes. Actually, I'm not really out of them. I just kind of, well, I am out of them. All right. Do I still not have any? I still don't have any. Come on, you fuckers need to give me one, okay? Oh my god, these things, I hate these things so much. What are you still missing here? Five. Fuck. Okay, eventually, eventually I'll have it. Because it's not good, it's like not heavy, there's no heavy oil. And like, the minute I make them, they're just like, Oh, you want me to place it, sir, right? Okay, there we go. There we go, coal liqu liquefaction. Um, so this is gonna eat through the coal, pretty much, uh, on its own. And we know that. We will set... I think the splitter to priority output, maybe the, that side, but I don't know. It doesn't use that much, that's the thing. So this is what our coal goes into now. And I, I think if we look at our, our um, so it will still crack down everything. Petroleum is slightly going up. Uh, quite not, not quite at the levels we would, uh, we would appreciate it being at. But if we actually look at our crude oil supplies here, yeah, this is completely out of crude oil. In fact, I, I feel pretty good about just removing that from the system at this point. So luckily, luckily there's this. So let's just make sure they're all running. They look like they're running. And the thing, the funny thing is we can even have more than this. That's the funny thing. So I'm going to work on removing this from the line because I actually really don't want these. Actually, there's like barely anything in these. So let's just get a... There you go. It's just removing the crude oil from these containers that we no longer need. I mean, it gives us an idea of how much crude oil we have, but I don't know. We'll, we'll maybe make one. We'll have one here so we have an idea. But yeah, crude oil has officially run out. Um, we can put speed modules into these suckers, but that's it. So from now on, we are uh, we are a coal liquefaction um, team or whatever. 
So I think, yeah, we do need to increase the amount of uh, things doing coal liquefaction here. This is going to eat through my coal so fucking fast, though. You don't even know. Uh, but it's just needed. Um, oh, yeah, the other thing I realized that was kind of a problem. So, okay, by the way, so in case you're wondering why, why the petroleum became a problem all of a sudden, the first thing is, in this chest, I accidentally made about 500 um, uh, construction bots. So that's a lot of construction bots. Uh, it was highly unfortunate. It was a mistake. I didn't. I, I basically ripped up the thing and put it down and didn't add another limit. So it was just building it the entire time. Reason why that has to do with petroleum is that there's batteries on this line. You see, batteries require a good deal of sulfuric acid, which then goes is made from petroleum. I mean, also we're we're eating, I guess, a fair bit of like petroleum here as well, uh, from for red chips for different things that we're making now. For science, basically, just it's used in everything. That's just how it goes right now. Um, so that's just how it is right now. Um, the problem is that uh, blue chips, which we want, require uh, it requires petroleum. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting some better power armor, but a lot of things I would like. Uh, but the thing is, to make real good use of that, we need f portable fusion reactors. And to make use of portable fusion reactors, we need high-tech science specs. With high-tech science specs, we need a lot more, a lot more copper. Because I, I guess I'll show you guys what, what's needed from us right now. Um, this requires one battery, which is a good deal of petroleum and other goodness. Um, so is processing unit. That's also petroleum-based. Um, 30, 30x copper cable for each, like, for each thing, for each... Like, it's basically like 15 copper right there. Speed module. Speed module is one of these guys. Of course, uh, advanced circuits and electronic circuits, both which have high copper requirements. And, and yeah, the battery requires a bit of copper and a bit of uh, uh, iron. So, I mean, overall, it's a lot. Um, and here's the thing. So this ore patch, uh, it's not running out, but it's, it's going to get there. Um, this guy is going to well this guy's fresh so that's fine this guy is definitely going to run out at some point uh, i mean 1.6 million is still a lot so i'm not i'm not overly concerned this is not panic time um i definitely want to increase the amount of coal liquefaction we're doing because this one red belt of coal like i can i can get that anywhere i want it's fine so let's do some more coal liquefaction where did this where's this water going oh that's for the that the stuff all right so, first things first, let's modify this uh, uh, overboard, whatever. Actually, we need more materials. Pretty much overall. Uh, yeah. I was going to get a... Oh, there we go. Offshore pump. That's the, that's, that's the thing I was looking for. All right, so we got an offshore pump. Let's going to take a bunch of random materials with me, because who knows what we'll need. Definitely need a lot more of uh, this stuff. Probably a little bit more of that. A little bit of this, and that's it. Uh, do we need lights or anything? Uh, maybe I'll take half the stack of lights, because I decided to light some more shit up. Um, oh yeah, so right now our petroleum is a problem, I forgot to mention, because we're making a lot of laser turrets, which use batteries. Batteries just eat that shit up. Um, it's just simply because I saw this, and I'm actually going to just remove this now. Because this is uh, the rate of which we're consuming this stuff is huge. Uh, I, I kind of just doubled it because I noticed that we didn't have enough. Fuck you, game. Okay, we got coal to get rid of. We'll just put that in the grenade things. That all that we use coal for, really, in this point in the game, I guess so. Uh, that's why I was complaining. So, yeah, um... Uh, as I said, thankfully they added that to the game, so we're fine. As, as I said, this is the turrets, because I realized that we're going to need turrets, uh, not only for finishing this part, but traveling up to the copper as well. Because guess what we're doing? We're making an extension to the wall, essentially. So uh, there's not much we can do. Like I said, I'm going to make like little highway segments um, for the wall. Uh, it's going to be protected, pretty much, so that's just how it's going to work. So let's try and make this a bit better, actually. So, uh, how far up can I even bring this? 
pretty far up because I don't want to bring the coal onto this side. I, I prefer all, all our liquefaction needs happen on this side, but can eventually happen on this side, I guess. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, sulfuric acid is going to come up here. I, I know it's not connected yet. I need to all calm down. Uh, let's see here. Something like over here. Actually, it doesn't even need to be underground. Uh, okay, well, then we'll bring it across over here. This is gonna just be like where pipes come to die, I guess. I don't know. How depressing is that? I mean, it's just kind of what I needed to do, though. All right, we'll bring this down and now. Whoops. I seem pretty adamant about the way I did this, so. Good job past me. Basically no sulfuric acid in these guys anyways. Alright, there you go. So now it kind of co comes up instead. Gives us a bit of a breathing room to do some other stuff with it, you know. I don't mind that. As long as it's making it over here, which it appears to not be. Okay, where's the issue then? Right there, okay. So yeah, we're gonna do that, and then the water... Uh, water's gonna have to change somehow. I don't know how. Probably just get, put another offshore pump somewhere here. Yeah, some of this is just so bad. Fortunately, this one happened to be just right in front of the offshore pump that I needed to bring over. Uh, uh, water's right there. Let's bring that a little bit further up. Because we're trying to just squeeze in some space here. I'd prefer not to make another place for this stuff. But yeah, okay, it's it's got its water now, so it's all good. And then I guess we just extend the lines for um, uh, coal liquefaction, because what's the point? Luckily, there's a lot of uh, spaces. So, yeah, we're in the stage of the game where just everything becomes, like, you basically go, like, there's all these things I want to do, but I can't do them because we don't have enough resources. And, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's just the nature of the game. What are we missing right now? Missing some of these things. Okay. Where's my car? So, I mean, this is just a matter of uh, this part of the game is just like, hey, you know what? You have your, have your base established. Your bots are pretty kick ass. Uh, get out there and fucking kill some, uh, kill some bugs, son. Get out there and kill some bugs. Hmm. These use pipes, right? Yeah, they use pipes. That's what I thought. Alright, well, it's gonna make some of these. Um, like I said, I don't want to eat all the coal, because holy shit, where are we gonna go through this fast if I do that? But I just would like to at least see petroleum kind of go up. You know? Yeah, you can, you can actually see these, uh, these machines are just not able to get the resources they require. So I, I would say, let's bring it all the way up to maybe there, or no, actually, no, no, we don't do that. Look at that. Already, it's already completely done. It's already eating all of the coal. Off a red belt, of all places, so. I'm actually gonna go to the point and say maybe remove two lines of this. Uh, yeah, we're gonna remove two lines of this. Okay, I've changed my mind just slightly. Let's reconnect this guy. Okay, 
And then we hook up the heavy oil again. All right, good enough. Yeah, I kind of, I can't say I didn't see this coming. But yeah, as long as we keep enough heavy oil in here and stuff like that. So as I said, it's doing the cracking as needed, keeping us a little bit ahead of the, the curve here. Apparently, apparently we never do heavy oil cracking though. But as I said, it's maintaining the 20K. If we ever fall below 20k, we're in trouble, because uh, then we can't do coal. Uh, we can't do coal liquefaction. It's almost worth setting up an alarm for. Almost, almost worth it. Anyways, okay. This is this is getting us a bit more further ahead, so that's that's all good. And like the coal isn't draining that fast. Like it will be an issue, but it's not an issue right now. So I feel like it is something we can just simply ignore. We can also probably maybe saturate that a bit better. Like we just add some more there. We'll just uh, we'll improve it a little bit, and then we'll do just some drive-bys on the wall. Uh, we'll uh, give it all the resources it needs. So even though there's a bunch of construction bots beside the wall there, uh, it's actually not a big deal because um, well, like like they want to make stuff obviously, but. Uh, because that's what they're complaining about right now. That's that error you see is that it's saying like, oh, you don't have enough Resources for certain things and I'm like, yeah, I know sucker Fuck you want from me, but uh, Let's try like, something like this Since it all goes to the same side, we're gonna do something like that instead So we get a yellow belt here as well, and that's it. We're tapping into this a hundred percent so like I said, this this seems to use coal far more than the than the uh, than the furnaces ever did. The thing that's making me sad is that this petroleum isn't actually going up as high as I want it to uh, with coal liquefaction. I mean, granted, it still will work, but I I am feeling that we're gonna need more oil than this. So I mean, uh, and you're maybe wondering why I still have all these hooked up because there's no reason not to. Because if I tap into some oil, then we can do that. But I can 100% guarantee you, this is probably not worth. Um, I mean, it would... Yeah, it's just not worth. This is not enough to make a base around. Because I think the amount of resources we spend getting here will be not great. But at least this will hold us over, but I don't think it'll hold us over until the end of the game. This is definitely not an end game thing. Or it's more of like a... You, you poor fuck, you ran out of oil. Kind of deal. And then what the sad thing is, these are not actually completely run out yet. They, they still actually have a bit more oil left in them. I think it goes down to 0.5 or something when they're run out, so... You know, right now, I see them mostly at 3 and stuff like that. Some of them are at 6. Some of them are still actually good, considering all all these things. I think they go down to 0.5. So if you speed module them, they can, they can go up to like 2 or something. But, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. I remember it is an infinite resource, but yeah. Alright, well, that's it for the steam there. Uh, so luckily, yeah, we have plenty of steam. We're happy about that. Let's see the power. So power now has reached 160 megawatts, uh, and this is like without me doing anything. Like uh, we added some more lasers, we added some more uh, furnaces, and remember where our power capacity is 480 megawatts. Uh, but yeah, um, it's one of those interesting things. So these guys will just uh, build things on the wall. Like I said, it was a bit of a mistake to make so many, uh, uh, so many bots, but I guess we'll use them at some point. It's stopped now, but like, yeah, because what we're going to do, as I said, we're going to make a single highway up to the, these couples. So, the plan is, uh, from now on, is we're going to actually go up to that copper ore. Um, so after I finish this, uh, maybe I shouldn't finish this now. Maybe we should go there now. Okay, fuck this wall. Because I, I like I'm gonna use all my turrets on this, and then I'm not gonna be able to start my expedition here. So, the hope that we have is that we we're, we would want to go to this copper ore mine anyways. The hope is that once we get up there, we're gonna put up radar dishes, and then maybe there's gonna be a crazy amount of uh, resources up there uh, in terms of like oil and stuff. That's what we're hoping for. Because luckily, in the way this game works now. Um, you only really have to, like, the further out you go, the more dense the resources are. Uh, that's the first thing. And the second thing is, like, yeah, they're spread out, but, like, once you find them, you're going to find a lot of them. Because they, they, they rebalance the game so that you wouldn't have to put up so many uh, 
uh, outpost up. What the fuck? Fuck, man. One second. Let me get re oh my god. Okay, we don't even we don't even have repair packs on me, by the way. So I'm just gonna make a bunch. All right. Well, anyways. So I'm gonna make the wall again, and we're gonna make a wall that goes up. Uh, so I did make some more flamethrower turrets. And yeah, we can just take a little bit more. We can take all the lasers with us. All right, we got that down. Uh, we got a shit ton of coal in here too. Let me go put that into the the liquefaction center. I need to get rid of all this garbage though. Uh, I have like a speaker with me. I have this, which was for the nuclear layouts. We we probably won't need that again. Uh, we might need that again. We might need that again. I'm gonna put that in my big, my big blueprint book of madness or whatever the fuck. Uh, we might need this again to upgrade, so I'll keep that again. Or can I put books within books? No, no you're not allowed to do that. A very sad day for Valve Software. Uh, all right. So, what was I about to do? Yeah, I was going to get rid of the coal I had. Oh, really? I have to actually walk down this? This is the best way of getting rid of coal. Alright. Still a little bit left, but that's okay. It's funny, because it's like, we removed our coal dependence, but at the same time, we put it back. Because now there's, you know... This this bullshit now, so we we need coal because I I mean our flamethrower turrets run upon coal too so you know not a fun time not a fun time for most of us and yeah I realize that it's not completely saturated because they these things are stupid and don't do it properly but that's okay well we'll fix that at some other point this is not the most pressing concern that we have at the moment all right I think I'm good now. I think I'll just put this away and that's it. Okay. So we need we need two things. We need more train tracks. Uh, we'll just ride along the um, the death. All right. We're gonna need more train tracks. We're gonna need some more side pipes because we're building walls again. And this one I'll actually show you most of it. Keep most of it in. So let's get the materials we need. So our end goal is we're going to try and pick up that side patch as well. Um, yeah, there's a couple of biters there. We're going to try and get the side patch, but the ultimate goal is to get up to the, the, the really big copper supply and put up some radar dishes, radars. So speaking of radars, let's get a couple with us now. Um, and yeah, the, the other hope is that there, there's maybe going to be another iron patch because we need another line of furnaces. Uh, I mean, right now this is working uh, at a hundred percent. There's no, as you can see, there's no trains waiting to to give away iron, which means that that we need more iron trains uh, to make that any better. So we can't really do much about that. All right, so we got some of that. Uh, what else do we need? Thinking, thinking, thinking. Uh, oh, we need walls. Of course we need walls. All right, so we're gonna make that. We're gonna space them two apart again up there. Even though I was starting to make them a little bit closer together, we're spacing them two apart again. All right. Yeah, it keeps beeping at me because it's like, hey, bitch, you need some fucking shit up here, and I'm like, no, motherfucker. Oh, right here as well. We need some of this and we need some of that. All right, and then walls. All right, what do I have with me that I don't need? I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need these. Oh, we're going to need lights again. I forgot about that because I, li I light up all my stuff. These walls are lit as fuck. So um, I also need to mention, though, for the context of this run, re remember that I did disable any kind of... Um, I, I did disable every kind of, any kind of water from spawning anywhere. The, the only terrain we'll see is sand going up, so... Um, that, that's what I did for this one. I, I mean, I didn't really ever see it spawn when I put very low. Wow, sulfuric acid. 
Is that petroleum? That is petroleum. I told you it's batteries. It's fucking batteries every time. But, like, you know, the petroleum that is also required to, you know, power every, like, literally everything. So, I mean, the coal is going down now, but, you know, I think, I think we're, as I said, I think we're Gucci for now because I actually see petroleum here. But apparently that doesn't make it this far, though. I, pr I maybe should pump it over. Okay, let's, let's try and get a pump in the middle somewhere. Where is it? I think I think it's down here somewhere. Yeah. All right. Let's figure out. Why is it like so like that? Because like, look at how much petroleum's in here. It's it's because it keeps trying to put it into the storage tanks. I think. But yeah. If we if we pump it, then they will no longer attempt to do that. Uh, where's petroleum? Got your petroleum right here. Instead of doing what I wanted to do, I'm instead fixing little issues like this. Alright. Yeah, now it's removing it because it's putting it into the pipes, so that's good. At least, at least there's that. Okay. Um, what's the last thing we needed? Uh, I think we don't need much else. I'm gonna just remove that. I have like one flying, I have, I have one thing there. Oh, lights, of course, we're gonna have lights. And then I think we're good. And this wall will come up much faster than most of the other walls you've seen me do, so. Oh, green chips is actually backed up now. Oh, how quaint. Very nice. I have like 53 batteries, but it's okay. Okay, let's take the lamps. All right, the great wall quest Simulator. The Great Wall Quest begins again. Same deal as before. Same deal. So we now need to make an exit point for our trains. Uh, which that's a good question of where to have them exit at. I think, I think we're just going to go up towards the small copper there. And then we're going to continue upward. Till we make it so somewhere like right here in between these two I don't quite think these that things out quite well so um, actually did our fish ever replenish no there's just that basically that many left so uh, finish are not a renewable resource in this so I have to be careful about how I use my pseudo health packs all right all right gentlemen it's go time, bitches. These are probably some of the better turrets we've ever seen. I need to also mention, though, this evolution factor is definitely going to hit uh, 9 uh, by the end of this. Which is why I kind of did a hard save, because... Uh, yeah, we're going to be in some serious shit after this. Um... <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Wait, wait, where would you fuckers possibly put it? Alright, well, I just picked up a bunch of bots. Okay, so... The fucking special-ass logistics network decided that it would be a good idea to take uh, my bots. Uh, to take my materials here, so that's not good. That's very much not good. Does everyone want to bank it up? No. That's where we want to make it go up. Well, I don't know how to really do this. I think they're just going to basically hang out with the fucking... Yeah, they're going to fucking help out here. Like, fucking dipshits. The thing is, they have nowhere to put it. You know what? I'm going to give them the storage disk to put it into. Cannot insert storage disk. Thank you. Oh my god. Alright, we fucking lost. Okay, I just want this thing in here. Okay, so that's where I'll put stuff. Thanks. That's where I'll put stuff when it's going to be stupid, so. Why are these things not powered? Whatever. 
Not sure why that, that wasn't powered, but that's fine. So that's wall number one. And where's wall number two? Uh, let's see, blueprint book. So that's obviously not going to be the case. So right here. So this is, I think, too small. So maybe we'll go one more up. But this is, means more to clear, more to have to clear out. But this gives me more flexibility. I mean, let's let's just see. Let's see how it goes. All right. So we do want to interconnect these. So let's just. Uh, Oh, whoops. Uh huh. Let's put this back together again. I mean, smaller is better in this case, for the most part. <laughs> but I don't know, man. Actually, just may be enough. Smaller is better, the only time you'll ever hear this from me. Okay, actually it does it actually does work. Uh wow, there's just construction robots on the ground. Alright, you know what, can I add you fuckers back to your own network? Because now I have like another stack of you assholes. Alright, get it get out of here. Alright. Just hook up these two to power. Just so that they don't run out of power all of a sudden. I was hoping also to maybe have it connect here because I, I kind of would like a little bit more redundancy when it comes to oil supplies and this also doesn't need to be hooked up so let's uh let's unhook this whoopsies yeah let's just unhook that there you go okay uh and there you go so we're gonna try and copy the blueprint pretty much verbatim all right that, that worked much better than it should have and there you go. Now they're hooked up to flamethrower fuel again. But I'd rather that this line not kind of be in a circle kind of quite like that, but still kind of weird. So we're going to do something a little bit more special here. Alright, where's the chest I had them putting crap into? My chest somewhere. Am I blind and not deaf? Do I have it with me? Oh, I do have it with me. So they, it's your problem right now? Yeah. yeah you're, you're missing things. But don't worry, because everything's self repairs these days. So that's that's kind of good. So that's that's why we hit the, the sweet spot with us. Holy, oh, okay. It's it's fine, actually. I was just about to say, I, I wasn't sure about this. All right, so I didn't bring more tracks with me, I'm pretty sure. So that's not good. Uh, that's also something I need to bring with me. So let's go get those before I uh, forget again. There you go. And now we're gonna just build that up. And that's that's how we do the highway lines. Oops. My bad. I might actually bring some repair packs with me, though. So because the robots are so fast now, I actually don't really care if they... Um, repair stuff now I, and also the fact i have like how many do i have i have 34 bots so uh make that 30, 43. we're gonna take a full stack of uh, repair packs uh maybe maybe don't need that many oh well okay okay let's put like like 50 back actually actually maybe like half of that there you go now we have kind of a full stack of this stuff. All right. And we're gonna go down to the rails. Uh, did I just grab something here I wasn't supposed to? Nope, I got the rails. There you go. Like I said, you just, you don't need to have stone in that bot. Like you don't need to actually feed it stone manually. Imagine how annoying that would have been. I would have set that up and everything. I would have been so fucking irritated. So, I mean, the, there are some still supply issues with this factory, and it's mostly in the fact that, that these laser turrets are going all the time now. Um, because they're trying to make steel for me. So, like, you can see that, like, it's going into the factory. It's being used somewhere, so... 
Uh, that's why we just basically go like, okay, you know what? Blue science is the problem, but I guess it's better problem than most kind of kinds of problems that we can have. So you know. All right. I actually hate this. Uh, because for the reason that I want to drive into here when I want to go up places, but that's okay. All right, guys. The wall continues. And look, it, it goes much faster now. Because I have, it's first the, the fact that I have two robot ports. That's the first, that's the first thing. And I try and eat them so that they don't actually eat my power. All right, that's good. All right, let's do more combat. What the fuck are you kids doing? Hey, whatever. Oh shit. All hands of battle stations. Let's look at the power usage. Not even closing in on 480 megawatts. Not even fucking close. But this is definitely going to spawn a couple spawners. I think I really need to do much more with that. So, yeah, we're gonna go up here and then to the side. Alright, we're gonna probably have to kill that nest too, so... Uh, keeping along with the theme of this. Now we're going to do the other side for a little bit. Like I said, these, like, my battery's already gone for this piece of armor, but luckily we can support more than one robot port. We just have to now re, we, this is kind of what I was doing when I built the wall the first time, and I honestly regret not making more robot ports. In fact, I think I could just make another robot port now. I don't think it matters. The battery clearly does not make a difference here. Like, it's just, as long as I just put it in. Because, like, the battery's already done. Alright, we're done that. Let's get the armor out. I mean, it's, I, I mean, it sucks not having the night vision, but I guess, you know, what can you do? All right, now we can support up to uh, 30 robots. So that's, that's, a, uh, <laughs> we're in the 30 robot era, guys. But you know what, the more the better. I don't mind just holding right click on this shit. And I just realized that there is a flamethrower here. So you guys need to disassemble all this before they all burn to death. We already know you're gonna be a problem. But you can see, even though there's all this mil fancy ass military tech I can do, um, it's not worth it. It's never, it's never worth it to really get in, in Death World. Now, you know, I've always, I've always contemplated that, like how the developers can maybe change uh, the military techs to be much more in tune with something that I would want to get. Um, and you know, I don't know, it's, it's, it's actually tough to do. It is actually incredibly tough to do. Alright, I'm gonna bring the rails up now. Luckily the biters don't attack this, but we don't want them attacking the trains either. And you know what the really cool thing is? Uh, this is the rail planner that they have in this game. Which means you don't actually have to be at the place. It actually defies the laws of what you're actually supposed to be able to do in this game. Uh, because they just let you kind of uh, place it however, however many tiles away you, you want. Alright, we're gonna let them do whatever they want. Oh, hey. We actually just built that straight into it. We actually killed a, 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 a biter nest with a flamethrower. Good stuff. Alright, so we can deconstruct this guy. I should probably use the hotkeys for some of this stuff. I think that's what they're there for. I 
Let's go handle that. Oh shit. Look, look at them go. What the fuck? I love the bots so much. Alright. That was that was actually pretty fun. Cause these are these are like I think they're like maxed upgraded uh turrets at this point. Yeah, these are this is uh well not maxed, but okay, well I didn't really explain it to you, but like um so well, I kind of did, but so you know, yeah, we launch a rocket into space, right? Um, so we get two more uh, upgrades for these turrets, and we get one that's the well, actually, no, this one it doesn't happen. This one's just a regular upgrade. It's damage that's that's infinite. So this one says, like you see here, it's eight infinite, level eight to infinite. So basically, it's just a scaling uh, um, a tur turret upgrade that basically uses space science specs. How do you get space science specs? You launch rockets into space. Uh, it's kind of like their way of going like, okay, you beat the game. Uh, you can just do what you want now. Kind of thing. And you can just... And it goes for a couple things, but yeah. We're just going to hang out here. Luckily we have lights. Where's my wheels at? I need to get my car, actually. Uh, we just want to make sure we get these guys. Like I said, when they're slowed down, they they're not gonna recharge incredibly fast. So yeah, that's just, this is how we handle this. Uh, and like I said, I got a big looper on the base, and it may have not been the best strategy. I, I probably should have actually done a double line. So I can get to where it's going faster, but it's not that big of a loop. It's like an extra second or two, you just put more trains down. But being such a whiny baby if if you're complaining about that. Alright, um, so uh, actually we need this copper right now, like here. So this is a very good question. I haven't quite decided how to get this. Um, Usually I like doing loops, but as you can see, I, I've taken some creative liberties in this in this run, and I've done things like this, where it kind of just goes into the the same line. And actually, there's actually a little shortcut that the that the trains like to use now. I made this thing too. So in actuality, I think what we're gonna do is because of the way we're doing this, um, let's get some signals up first, because I, I don't know actually what direction these trains are gonna be going in. But it doesn't matter because we should have signals in it. Fuck you. Okay. We should have signals anyways, so. Alright, so they're coming from this direction. Alright. So something like this. Alright, so let's start trying to encompass the base then. Like I said, luckily we now have like many, many different kinds of ways of doing this. Uh, nope, needs to be lower. Needs to be down here. So we need to destroy most of this. There you go. Uh, probably should... Okay, which way was the way that was actually forward? Fuck. This one was. Okay. So this guy will go... Kind of around this way. The hell was this? That was a power pole. Alright. This is not exactly what I'd call the largest... Okay, yeah, they're trying to fucking fix themselves. The fuck? Why do they keep coming out? Okay, because there's all 30 of them trying to repair themselves. Yeah, eat shit. Like I said, creative liberties. Alright, then we'll go like down here. Alright. Uh, yeah, we'll just kind of... Uh, you know what we'll do? We'll, we'll have it go like this. I know how to do this. So, trains are actually pretty smart. 
Uh, they're very nice trains. So you can actually do things like this, where it actually goes onto the same line. Um, and we want it to go basically down, back down, right? Yeah. So you can just kind of say, oh, hey, go back down this way. And you're gonna be like, oh God, this is a disaster. But it actually, they're actually really smart about this. So as long as you only have one train, like one possible block on that part there, um, kind of like this. So it's, 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 remember, it's about the color. It's about the color that you see it as. Uh, oh yeah, we, we want we want the trains to go up and around and loop around, so we do this. So this has ensured that this is a one-way train. This is a one-way train. I could make it two-way, but you can see it just generally doesn't even want to put it down anywhere and anywhere here. It's a one-way train now here to go. So it goes up and around and here, and so it makes sure that the this the cyan color this has to be free from all sides. It has to be free. So that way they can get back down and they can get back on the train. But the thing is they, they can only travel one way on this on this one too. Uh, unless I didn't make them do that, which I did not. Okay. This one was originally... What was this one originally? Why did I make it? Yeah, this was going up. That's, what, that's why it fucked up. All right. We do this. There you go. Now that disappeared and now this disappears on this side because this... I've made it a one-way track. There's no two ways on this one anymore. Um, and there you go. They're all one way now. I mean, you can put one on the other side to make the, to designate the track as two way, but I mean, we're not doing that. So this gets us this war patch, which isn't huge, but I mean, it's on the way. That's why it's probably just gonna be one train doing it, which is why we have this shitty ass loop, but it'll have space for more if, if needed. And then, uh, yeah. We'll go put some more down. All right, that is, we have a fair bit of neighbors here. That's not the right one. This is the right one. Is this good enough? Yeah, that's actually just perfect. Holy shit. The problem is when I look at this every time, I'm like, oh, am I missing parts for right now? And the answer is no, no, we're not. So they all want to repair. So we just start, we just start eating them up. This is this is our job now. It's to to hold right click and and get all these bots together. So I, I don't see a reason to change anything here, to be honest. We'll just do this again. Seriously, we ran out of power already, huh? Yeah, but see, there's no, there's no energy inside the buffer for that guy, so it's like, ah. Uh, gotta do it like this. Oh, shit. Uh. Alright. As you can see, they just, they, they just need their fucking power, but we can just bring them into our, our home. Alright. All right, now, now the lights are off. Oh God, the natives are restless. I don't think I need to go as far as kill the one on the left there. Yeah, we have a couple here. What the fuck are you doing? Oh my god, it, they're trying to join the fucking network. You fucking retard bots. Well, goodbye. Dude, is there an auto save just before I fucking did that? Oh my god. Okay, we can't do that anymore. That sucks, but we can't do that anymore. And the, Actually, we need to go chase after the bots because guess what? They count as um, something that's ours, and now they're so fucking fast. Fucking assholes. Well, okay, how many got stolen from me? A bunch. So, um, yeah, that's something that it does. When you place down a construction bot, it will randomly try to join the closest logistics network. Um, it will assume that's why you placed it. I didn't think it would actually do that when I wasn't in a logistics network, but apparently, um, apparently that's not the case. Go figure. Okay. So, we got this guy. Uh, 
already as it is, they're already attacking this place. That did not take very long. Is there any pollution coming from here? I mean, there is a little bit. And guess what? Is like guess what's actually coming from? The flamethrowers. The flamethrowers generate pollution. Yes. Uh, does that mean we shouldn't use it? Do should we use green methods of killing biters? I don't know, man. Fuck them. That moment when you realize you're not killing, uh, killing biters in an environmentally friendly fashion. All right, we need some more walls. Where's my car at? There it is. Well, like I said, this is now going a little bit faster now, so we're okay. It's just, uh, now it's just about the pain that is, um, I wish they had like a kind of intermediate, like maybe I can nuclear power my fucking suit. I don't know why I'm not allowed to do that. I, I'm, I, well, I mean, imagine it's not very healthy, but um, by golly, though, the things I'm willing to do to kill a couple of biters. All right. That's not so bad. Now, I'm not sure how we're going to repair that with the logistics, but I actually think I have an idea for that, but that's for later. Because we don't have to really worry about that right now. Uh, yeah, I'll just kind of take over all this. So as you can see, this goes up much faster than before. Very, very nice. Uh, as soon as they need repairs, we'll just kind of bring them into our our hold here. I said, when we get some better fucking technology for the ship, it'll work nicer. All right, how much further down does it need to be? I don't think it needs to be that much further down. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I guess that's basically it back on track again although this doesn't look like it lined up that well I'm not sure why that is why did that not why did you not line up is it because I had the is it because my oh I think my sidewalls don't line up actually now I think about it I don't think these these line up at all so when I added these no they don't that's why that's okay because we don't care it's actually not a big deal. Fucks with the symmetry a little bit for this wall, but we could actually, you know what we could just do? We could just do this. Uh, like that. There you go. Uh, actually, we need to destroy all this then. There you go. Symmetry restored. Alright, do we need to deal with that dust? No, we don't. So we actually even managed to get the copper uh, on the way up, so that's not bad. Uh, and we're gonna be sure to put like a couple radar dishes all over the place. Like right, we can just go do that now. Just uh, take whatever these guys have. I probably should end the episode soon. So we got, we did get this thing. I will, I, as I said, I'll show you our process of, because I, I think this is a bit more of an interesting part of the game. Just kind of like exploring and going up places like that. So we're gonna put three d dishes here just to maybe get a bit more over there. And yeah, so I will I will continue this uh, Merry Adventure next episode. So, uh, where the fuck's my car? There it is. So I think I've been a bit here a bit too long. Um, but yeah, so we do have, we do have the ability uh, to get this mine now. So that's, that's, that's pretty good. That's very nice, so. All right, thanks for watching, and take care. Biter's already fucking up that fucking nest here, so... Goodbye.